Here on NGW British Wrestling Weekly, where we are about to see a showdown that has been brewing for months. Joseph Connors has been evading at every turn, playing mind games with Liam Slater. But this week, finally, the showdown between Connors and Slater is going to happen. Going to the ring with Lilith. From the barracks of a righteous army, winning tonight at 216 pounds, the righteous Joseph Connors. Dave Bradshaw here at ringside alongside former British heavyweight champion Alex Shane. And Alex, Joseph Connors and Lilith are one of the creepiest pairings you could ever hope to encounter. Well, they are, but what I've got to say is that after seeing that very emotional backstage interview with Liam Slater, I believe that Liam Slater has never been more motivated, more determined, and dare I say, more angry than he is right now. And as a result, I think we may just see the moment that Slater's wanted for so long, that being his first ever single victory on worldwide television. Well, maybe, but on the flip side, if that anger is not directed properly, if it causes him to lose focus, then Joseph Connors is a master of psychology and he will turn that and twist it to his advantage so that he can pick up the victory. And look at Lilith just staring a hole into Liam Slater and regular viewers of this show, that she's still doing it. Regular viewers of this show will know the storied history between Joe Connors, Liam Slater and Lilith. And Slater has to have eyes in the back of his head if he's going to get a victory in this one. Now, one thing I will tell you, Dave, is without knowing the exact details, it's been rumoured for several weeks here that NGW management have put serious pressure on Joe Connors, not only to take part in this match, but also to make sure Dora Diablo can't get involved and Liam's not going to wait for the bell. That rage already boiling over from Slater, who's been wanting to get his hands on Joseph Connors one-on-one -on -one for a very long time. And referee Steve Linsky is going to have his work cut out because after what we saw in the match with Dara Diablo just under a month ago, where Liam Slater's younger brother, Dan, got hit, Slater has said he blames nobody for that but Joe Connors. So Joseph Connors is in there with a very angry young man who's fighting for not just his first singles win, but for family pride. I mean, Liam was really shaken up about what happened. But Alex, that's all been part of the mind games, hasn't it? Lilith going over and approaching Dan Slater at ringside was surely designed to get Liam Slater this angry. I think this is all part of the plan for Joseph Connors. Well, nobody knows what that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's going to say, no, oh, look, at Slater lands on the open and Connors hasn't seen him. I don't think anyone knows what Connors' plan is. And that's the scary part about it. But you might be right, there may be more to it. But at this point in time, I can guarantee you that what's about to happen isn't part of Joe Connors' plan. Well, Connors is getting complacent and Slater takes him down. As you mentioned... Yeah. Conspicuous by his absence is Dara Diablo. Be interesting to see. We haven't had any official word from NGW management about whether Diablo is indeed barred from ringside, but the fact that he isn't here when you would certainly expect him to be so suggests that that may be true. Well, Dara Diablo is currently trying to get NGW management to commit to a last man standing match with El Laguero. It's a match that NGW management flat out do not want, but if Dara can use that for leverage, I mean, it may be the way that he gets that match to happen by saying that he will not be involved in this contest. It's a very complex situation, and you've got two manipulators and masters of manipulation. Well, in Connors and, and Dara Diablo playing NGW like a fiddle. Yeah, you know, and the more I think about this, the more I try and work out the relationship between Diablo and Connors and Willem, the more confused I get. What is it that is binding this trio together? I mean, if we knew that, we, I don't know, we'd get some kind of a wall. Joe Connors is literally, he, I think he's the kind of guy that is playing a very dark and twisted long game. I don't think this is a short-term game. We've got to go to a break. Slater and Connors continues when we return. This grudge match between Liam Slater and Joseph Connors continuing here in Hull City Hall. Liam Slater having to keep his eye on Lilith and Connors sends Slater right at that lighting rig. And during the entire commercial break here, referee Steve Linsky has struggled 
and struggle badly to try and get these two guys back in the ring. They just will not listen. And every time that count gets close to 10, either Liam or Joseph Connors. Whoa, what's this Break now? the count, look at this. Lewis? Look at that hypnotic stare into the, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's obviously a distraction because Connors trying for the, the baseball slide. Slater snapped out of it at the last moment. And Lilith has some sort of mesmerizing quality. You know, we, we've seen it in the past here with multiple victims, and you could see it temporarily had effect on Liam Slater, and Slater managed to just snap himself out of that. And thank God he did, because Joseph Connors was coming at a full head of steam. Yeah, among those victims was Slater's little brother, Dan. Talked about that earlier. There's the uppercut from, from Liam Slater. Connors went for a drop kick. Oh, sorry, Slater went for the drop kick. Connors countering. Slingshot, but Slater landing on his feet oh. and taking down Connors. And Slater was so popular for dancing to the ring and being full of happiness, fun and joy. And that has literally been sucked out of him by Joseph Connors. And it's good to see Slater trying to reconnect with some of that because as soon as he landed off it, oh, look at and Lilith again. She just, is it, is, is it me? Or is she even more hypnotic and sort of, enigmatic and sinister than she's been previously. There's something about her that's just really starting to freak me out. Yeah, the stakes are high here, and I guess they're trying to up the, the mind games even further. Oh! Oh, no! God, Slater just dumped onto the outside. This one's spilling out of the ring again. The hatred as intense as Slater has for Connors. I don't think the four ropes of the ring were ever going to constrain this, but... This one is just a real tussle from start to finish. And that move right there was a difference maker. You know, Liam Slater went for what must have been about a 10-foot drop and landed on the hard wooden floor here in the whole City Hall. And now the question is, is he going to break that count? Lewis, again distracting Slater. And Connors broke the count for Linsky. It was like the opposite of what we saw earlier. Connors leaving the ring to break the count. Connors wants a, a clear win over Slater to continue that emotional, that mental dominance he's had throughout this, this rivalry they the two of them have had over the past few months. And Connors now methodically stomping into Slater's body. And Connors saying a change is coming. And you know, you talk about big rivalries, another big rivalry that we need to remember at this point. Earlier on, we heard from Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson, who is unable to give us a definitive yes or no as to whether or not he's going to accept Richie West's offer to be the final member of Team Control. And that is a big, big news story here because with the animosity between Zach Gibson and the leader of Team NGW, Nathan Cruz, if Gibson takes West's offer, that is going to be a huge game changer. That could have absolutely seismic implications for the future of NGW and frankly I'm surprised that Gibson is even countenancing teaming with the control but we'll have to see how that develops meanwhile Connors a delayed vertical suplex on Slater drops him Connors with that he's just got dead eyes something really really unsettling about Joseph Connors and of course about that young lady Lilith and look at the way Lilith's just running her hand up and down that bottom rope. It's just everything she does is intended to suck the energy and attention from... Oh, look at that. That was nasty. Suck the energy and attention from anyone who's willing to look at her or Joe Connors. She's just... There's something about her which really enjoys sucking in that dark energy from people who are willing to watch. And unfortunately right now, her and Connors have a worldwide audience to put forward whatever their twisted agenda of the professional wrestling world truly is. And it's kind of sad to see that a happy-go-lucky young man like Liam Slater has been driven to the anger we're now seeing from him. Slater landing on his feet here, he sends Connor to the ropes, Connor to the ropes, that's a clothesline, a double clothesline, both men down. Oh, but they're both back up, Dave, look at this, and a double clothesline again, wow. Goodness me. You know, I'm trying to think if there's anyone else in the MGW locker room who you just have this natural urge to root for any more than Liam Slater. You just so want to see him overcome 
this malignant presence has been in his life for the past few months. Liam Slater, if you spend any time around him, is one of the most likeable human beings and impressive young men I've ever met in pro wrestling. And this may just be as big as a challenge and obstacle it is, it also may be a, an incredible mountain to overcome if he wins right here in this match and gets his first singles victory on television. And look at this, Slater's just lost it. He is on fire, Dave. Has he lost it or is that controlled rage? That's the question we were asking earlier. We're about to find out. Slater into the corner and he nailed him. Second time. Here we go again. Joseph Connors is reeling and Slater may be moments away from that historic first victory. Oh no, Connors move. Connors move. Slater dropped him. Dropped him. And listen to this crowd. A packed whole City Hall of feeling what's coming. And look at that smile. Look at that smile on Liam Slater's face. That may be the first time I've seen him smile ever in the ring with Joseph Connors because he thinks he's got Connors' number. And right now, Dave, I happen to agree. Liam Slater thinks that these months of torment may be about to end. But Connors has got him. Connors! Connors! Oh, wait, Slater lands on his feet. Slater's got Connors on his shoulders. Connors deposited face first onto the turnbuckle. Slater picks him up. Come on, Liam, pin him, pin him. Big belly to back suplex, pin from centre of the ring. And that is the closest near four of this match so far. And you can see that the tide has turned and Liam Slater may just have Joe Connors' number. Slater mocking Connors, maybe playing some mind games of his own. Slater feeling the energy of this crowd in hold. Rolls through to a sunset flip. Connors with a pin of his own, gets two. Slater is up, pushed away by Connors. Oh God! Double and foot stomp. That just right there showed the resilience of Liam Slater because the first boot didn't put him down, the second boot did. In fact, it took two boots and right there, the perseverance and persistence of Liam Slater worked against him because it gave Joe Connors the opportunity to stomp right through him. Look at this on the replay. But it was also that persistence, Alex, that allowed him to kick out. A lot of people would have been pinned by that. That was a really brutal double foot stomp. And as epic as this main event is so far, we have got huge news before the end of the show about next week's main event. You are not going to want to miss that. But right now, Connors is going, oh, we've seen this before. In the end, I thought was nigh for Slater. Slater fighting back almost from desperation with an uppercut. That's four, five, six uppercuts by Slater. Connors has caught him. Backside. Slater escapes. And Connors has got him up. Oh, he's going for it again, Dave. Razor's edge into the top turnbuckle. My word. This time he got him. That could be the end. For Slater, no, it's not. No, it's not. Come on, Liam. Liam Slater will not die in this battle against Joseph Connors. And Slater knows he is just one good move away from his first singles victory on worldwide television. And for a young man like that, who's been a fan of wrestling his entire life, training since he was a teenager, we may just be about to witness the single most important moment of his young career right now. Missile dropkick off the, the second rope. Slater, is he about to finish off Joseph Connors? Oh, you know what he's going for, Dave? It's that top rope crossbody. What's Lilith it's, doing? What's oh, Lilith doing? Oh, he hits it. It's how he won that tag match with Sam Bailey, Come. but Linsky. Four, five, six. Come on, Linsky. Oh, no. He's, oh, is he going to... Oh. oh, my goodness. Connors escaped. Liam Slater had this one. Oh, and Linsky's ejecting Lilith. And look at the... Look at the... That's the first... Top, that's a... Wow, Linsky's getting rid of Lilith here. But the way she reacted, it's almost like that's part of the plan because right there, Liam Slater could have won his first ever match, singles match on TV, and it was snatched by Joe Connors and Lilith. Look at that look. Well, Slater mockingly saying goodbye to Lilith, but he can't take his eyes off Connors. Connors, oh no, 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 DDT. Oh no, 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 no. Kick out Liam, yes oh. he does, oh my God. Oh my God! Liam Slater kicked out of Joseph Connors' DDT! No one has ever kicked out of that DDT in NGW 
and Liam Slater was the very first. I thought for sure that was over, but Liam Slater is still in this fight. We've got to take our last commercial break. Connors and Slater will continue when we return. Connors and Slater continuing here on NCW British Wrestling Weekly. And before the break, Liam Slater unbelievably kicking out of Joseph Connors' DDT. Yeah, but at what cost, Dave? Because since then, Liam Slater has been out on his feet. And look at this. I mean, the guy, he's standing. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Connors is trying to finish off Liam Slater. Lilith, who was with Connors, has been sent to the back. We haven't seen Dara Diablo all night. So right now, we're down to one on one. And at some point, Steve Linsky is going to have to stop this because this is a scary, dangerous situation for Liam Slater. He's got Joe Connors screaming in his face. And Con oh, look at, the, look, at, look at Liam's face. Slater is trying to find out where he is, trying to get, shake off those cobwebs. Connors thinks he's got this finish. Slater, though. Slater planting Connor's face into that turnbuckle again. Connor picks him up, deposits him on the top turnbuckle. What's he doing here? Oh, no, 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 no. Connor's is, is going up top. This would end it. This would end it. Oh, Liam's fighting. He's fighting with everything he has. Because at this point in the match, with the damage that he took from that DDT, he cannot take the top rope suplex. Look, Liam fighting. Look at this young man, Dave. Yeah, Slater knows this is make or break for his chances of beating Joseph Connors. Fighting with everything he has. He needs to get down off that top rope. He headbutts Connors. Connors goes down. And now, Slater, finish him, Liam. Finish him. What's he, go is he, what's he going for here? Is it? It looks like he's setting up for something. What are we going to see from Liam Slater? Oh! Oh, Slater no. went for a senton bomb, but there was nobody home. Oh, he landed so hard on that ring, and now Connors took in Liam. He's going for that DDT again, but... Well, not again. No, 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 not no, again. What, no, what's this? Hang on. Oh! oh, my God! My God! No way! Oh. Joseph Connors has defeated Liam Slater. Here is your winner, the Righteous. Joseph Connors! That is heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Wow, Connors. I mean, as dangerous as that DDT was originally, whatever variation, I don't even know what to call that. That was just the most lethal version of a DDT I've ever seen. Check this out on a replay. Had him hooked into a cradle and bang. And Liam was already in a state of, I don't know, I mean, out on his feet until that point, but that was the the final nail and that coffin for Slater. But I've got to say it, Dave, what an incredible, incredible career-making performance by Liam Slater. He gave everything he had, and he took Joe Connors to the limit. Objectively, that's absolutely right. Liam Slater has nothing to be ashamed of, but I wonder, psychologically, what that's going to do to Liam Slater to have staked so much mentally, so much energy, on beating Joseph Connors when he finally got him in the ring one-on-one -on -one. and then to have lost in these kind of circumstances is going to be crushing to that young man. Liam Slater has absolutely nothing to be ashamed of because he gave it in life sometimes. It doesn't matter if you win as long as you give your best and he gave his absolute best. Unfortunately, experience had the upper hand in this one and Joe Connors walks out with a win but that guy deserves a round of applause because, uh, yeah, Liam Slater, that was incredible. Referee Steve Linsky checking on Liam Slater, who may well be injured as Connors surveys his work from over in the aisleway. I never know what's going through Connors' head, but especially at the moment after picking up that victory with one of the most just devastating looking DDTs we've ever seen. And we have a huge main event on next week's programme. More on that coming up shortly. But the story right now, as far as I'm concerned, listen to this crowd. People are clapping for Liam Slater. Slater's been asked by Nathan Cruz to be part of Team NGW. And it was a decision that many people questioned, but from that performance, it was a good one. As you said, Alex, we have huge news to report on our main event for next look, week's look NGW. He's look just a weirdo. He's just absolutely bizarre.
So our big news on our main event for next week. Let's go to the studio and Francesca Wood, who can fill us in.